Before the film starts, if you are from another country, we have audio tracks for most countries. It makes it easier for you to watch videos. All right, before we dive into coding, here's a quick question. How many steps do you think this little cat on the screen needs to walk to reach the guitar? Try breaking down every single move super carefully. Everyone's answer might be different, and as long as it's reasonable and detailed, it's all good. Here's the program flow I came up with. Step one, tell the computer where the starting point is, like which coordinate. Step two, code a small step to the right. Step three, lift the foot for one step. Step four, mimic a human stepping forward for the next step. Step five, lift the foot again, and so on. You'll notice it repeats 20 times, moving a small step right and switching the foot lift animation. You could copy paste 20 identical programs, but less code is better, not more. Use a loop function, set it to repeat 20 times and you're golden. If it moves too fast, maybe add a tiny weight before the next step. Works like a charm. So how many steps are there in total? So the total steps, at least one plus three times 20 equals 61 steps. Guess what I made? It's a pirate ship ride. Ever been on one? Did you guess it right? All right, let's code. Don't grab the program block I just used. It'll spin the wrong way unless you swap the hub's position. First step, turn just a tiny bit. Second step, turn a bit more to the other side. Third step, spin back the same amount in the opposite direction. Now check the program on the screen. Make sure the rotation direction is right and the port's connected correctly. Start with a slow speed to test it so it doesn't spin too fast and crash. You'll see three settings, rotations, degrees, seconds. In terms of accuracy, degrees are the best, rotations are second, seconds are last, so stick to using degrees. We continue to follow the three major steps analyzed just now to start coding. To avoid being too fast, add wait seconds in between, which also makes it convenient to observe. Oops, it got stuck. Lowered it a bit. Not bad, but the rhythm's kinda slow. Cut down the seconds. If you don't want that sluggish vibe, just ditch the weight function. If you're interested in the instructions, feel free to check out the link below the video to place an order. Thank you. Next, let's build a real fan that blows air. Version one. 
no breeze at all. Switch to a blade design and tilt it during assembly so the blades can push the air. Still not strong enough. Let's try adding a gear set to speed it up. A bit better, but not quite there. More gear sets for even faster spinning. Mm -hmm. Whoops, it's spinning the wrong way. Fixed it. Much better. This program's super simple. Just keep the motor running. Now, let's check out a new program block. The motor position block. See that black line on the motor? Line it up with the circle. That's zero degrees. You can pick shortest path rotation, counterclockwise, or clockwise. Let's figure out the rotation flow. Think about it. How should the program be written? Pretend there's a fan, viewed from above, starting at point in direction zero. It just needs to keep swinging right and left. The sequence in the program is, first, turn clockwise to the 90 degree position, then turn counterclockwise to the 270 degree position, and then keep repeating to complete it. We continue to follow the three major steps analyzed just now to start coding. To avoid being too fast, add wait seconds in between, which also makes it convenient to observe. If you have any information you want to ask, you can leave a message under the video. If you like it, you can like and subscribe. Thank you.